What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my biggest fears. Yes, Takedown has fears. So the reason I decided to make this video is Halloween is right around the corner. I have nothing else planned for a Halloween video and I don't think I shared anything like this yet. So that's why I decided to do it today. So my first fear is heights. That's something that's been one of my biggest fears for my entire life. Honestly, it's getting a lot better. I think the reason for that is I worked retail for five years and working retail, you're required to go up ladders, get big, heavy, awkward things off the shelves for customers. And that's something I didn't like doing. It's not that I'm scared of heights. It's what I'm doing at the height, what the task is. So if I'm up a ladder and I'm having to lean off or shift my weight or anything like that, that's what really freaks me out. Since I'm not working retail anymore, heights isn't a big concern of mine. It's definitely not my preference. I don't prefer to go up a ladder to do anything, but I'm coping with it. I'm getting a lot better at it. And it's something that I can deal with if I have to go do it. It just depends what I'm doing at heights. So I guess it is still a fear of mine. I don't like heights, but I'm getting a lot better at it. It's not like a few years ago. A few years ago, I'd get up a ladder whenever I was at work. I would get up the ladder and I would just start to shake. My legs would start to buckle and I just couldn't do it. So now that I'm not in that job, I'm not required to go up ladders pretty much every day. I don't have that problem right now. If I have to go up a ladder, I'm okay with it. It just depends on what I have to do on the ladder. So it's getting a lot better. The next thing is a really big thing with me and it is public speaking. So whether it is in a crowd, at school, at work, whatever the case may be, if I have to talk in front of a crowd or a large group of people, I can't do it. I hate it. I used to hate doing speeches at school. I used to hate doing debates or anything like that. That's why whenever I was in high school, I switched English classes because I could not get up to do it. I was just so terrified. I don't think it had anything to do with me getting up there and being made fun of or anything like that. It's just I never liked talking in front of people. I'm okay if it's one-on-one -on -one or if it's in a small group of people, but whenever it's a large group or a classroom full of people, that's what used to freak me out the most. Luckily, whenever I was in high school, a lot of my teachers, especially my English teachers, Whenever you had to do a presentation, you're supposed to do it in front of the class. Most of the time they would let me do the presentation just to them. They were the only ones there watching, listening. I've never liked being up in front of a crowd anyways. I don't like when everybody is staring at me, everybody is listening to me, everybody is watching me. I think that honestly is the biggest thing for me. I think honestly that is the reason why this is a fear of mine. It's just I don't like people staring at me. I don't like getting all of the attention. I think that must be the biggest thing. That's why this is one of my fears. So the next fear is going to the doctors. I don't know if it's necessarily going to the doctors as if I'm scared of the doctors. I just don't like to receive bad news. So if I know I'm either a sick or there's a problem with my body or whatever the case may be, or if it's the dentist or whatever it is, if I know by going to the doctors, I'm going to receive bad news. I try to hold off and postpone going to the doctors as long as I can. I know at times that's probably not the smartest thing to do because if I am sick and I don't get it looked at, whatever the case may be, it could get worse and it could cause more problems, but that is honestly a risk I take. I'm just so scared to get bad news. If I see that there is a problem, I just try to keep my eye on it and hope that it goes away on its own. Most of the time, if it doesn't, I will go to the doctors eventually, but I never go to the doctors right away. It's just one of my biggest fears. I don't think it's just doctors. It's probably some other stuff too, but doctors is the one thing that reminds me of it because I just don't like to receive bad news. So that's one reason why I avoid the doctors. I avoid the dentist. I avoid stuff like that just because I don't want to receive the bad news. So if I don't have to go to the doctors, I won't go to the doctors. So these have been my biggest fears. I know I only chose three. There's probably more, but these are my biggest fears right now. Most of them I am getting better at. Most of them aren't as bad as they used to be. Whenever I was in high school, they were way worse most of these. But right now it's kind of settling out, but they're still the biggest fears that I have right now. Comment down below what kind of fears you have, how you are dealing with them. Are you coping with them or are they getting better? Let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please take care. Peace.